at ya I got your girl up on my neck, yeah And she say I'm up next, yeah And she say that I'm the man, yeah Going to the top, yeah, they gon' count me out All this money coming in, yeah, that's my main Hey y'all, hey you all, just kidding. It's happy hump day, you guys. <laughs> Guess where we are in the same spot that I love to film in, and this is doing the dish yonas. So I'm doing the dishes, guys. Per usual, I filmed Monday because we went to a place called Tent Rocks. I'll insert a clip or two. It was my son's birthday, he turned 13 years old, so we had a really good time. It was actually really awesome. I had never been there before, and it was uh, quite amazing. It was a national park. So, um, yeah, it was just really cool. It was a good day. He had a lot of fun. Gave him a couple of gifts, and, yeah, it was just it was just a fun day. So, right now, um, yesterday, what did we do? Oh, I had to go to Sam's Club. Um, I'm pretty sure Sam's Clubs are everywhere, right? It's just like a Costco. So, I went. we went there, and we had to pick up a bunch of stuff. So we did that as far as like, you know, food and things of that nature. Um, so we went to Costco or Sam's Club. Now what I need to do though is um, I have a lot of stuff we need to take care of today. So we're going to get that done. But I have to clean. I have not cleaned in three days. So you guys can imagine what my house looks like. And yeah. I haven't cleaned for three days, you guys. It's because I've been like busy, and yesterday was like my one day to relax during this vacation. So that's kind of what we did. Is uh, we just took the time to, you know, kind of relax throughout the day. So um, yeah. So that's all I'm doing right now. I'm just uh, gonna start cleaning, and hopefully I can get the house cleaned pretty quick. That way, I'm not here for um, hours on end trying to clean the house. Back you know what I normal. Mean, I can get back on a normal cleaning schedule. I'm just like, really? I haven't cleaned in three days? That's a lot for me, you guys, not to clean the house. You, I, I'm sure you can picture how awful it looks in here. Doesn't look good. I'm just finishing up the kitchen. I started um, watching Olivia from Living with the Webs. Well, actually, it's called Liv's Life now. I started watching her again. I had kind of stopped watching her videos for a long time. And I picked up watching her again, you guys. And um, she has a whole different, like, vibe. Like, she seems really happy and she moved, so she went back to living in, um, I'm sorry, she went to go live in uh, Florida, not that she went back to living in Florida, she, she now lives in Florida, and um, her whole vibe, she just seems really happy, and she seems really nice, and when I would watch her videos before, I would be like, oh my god, she's so like mean, almost like a bully type, like just mad all the time, you know? And now her whole vibe is just really like just happy and I don't know she just seems like really different so it was it was cool so anyway I watched her entire live yesterday um, and I even commented a couple of things because I was like you know everybody deserves to be happy and there's times that we go through our lives where you're just like not happy right but um and that does, that's gonna affect the way you treat others and things of that nature. And she even talked about just wanting to have a normal life and not being in like, um, not like fighting with people and things like that, which I thought was really cool that she even brought that up. Um, so yeah, I did that last yeah, night. That's about it, you know? So I'm gonna finish up these dishes. You know what I need to do though, is I need to watch my friend. My friend on here, I got behind on videos, but I need to watch her. Uh, it's Marta, and it is Pretty and Plus 365. I'll put her info on the bottom. If you guys haven't subscribed to her, please do. She's amazing. I love her so much, but I definitely need to catch up on her video. So I'm gonna do that now, and I will come back when I'm cleaning another room. Okay, bye guys. I just forgot that my hands are wet.
How am I gonna shut you off, huh? How am I gonna do that when I have wet hands? How? Or wet gloves, I should say. Okay, I'll talk to you guys hey in a Hey guys, so now I'm back in the kitchen and right now we have some meat cooking. Hold on, I'm trying to adjust you a little bit. Hold your skelter. There. Okay, so we have some meat cooking there and then now I just need to cut up some avocados because we're gonna have meat and avocados. But first I need to wash my hands. Let's um, mix the meat. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to, we like our pork to be a little bit browned. So we like our pork really, really extra cooked. So we like it almost like chorizo kind of, kind of um, not chorizo, but like, what's it called when the meat is really brown? I'm gonna turn it off in just a few minutes, but. I think you're supposed to cook pork like that, aren't you? You're supposed to really like cook it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do there. Let's move on. Ooh, now let's move you guys here. So we can cut the avocados. So yesterday I went to, um, what's that place called? Dollar, not Dollar Tree, you guys. Yeah, I went to Dollar, I went to Dollar Tree today though. I went to Sam's Club, and at Sam's Club, you can get avocados, a big bag of them. I want to say for like $4, I don't know, something like that. So we got the bag of avocados, and yes, I'm just cutting them up. Nate went to this grocery store because I didn't have any... Um, not avocados, I didn't have any tomatoes, so he went to go get some tomatoes. That way we could add it to our food. So, one time you guys, I went like this, boom! I stuck the knife through it, and then it went through, and you'll never believe this, it cut, oh my gosh, I just broke, look at this, I just broke this in here. Um, Anyway, it went through and I cut the shit. I am talking the poop out of my hand. I feel like, I, I can't remember if that's the time I had to go to the emergency room. I don't know, I cut my hand another time where I had to go to the emergency room. So if mom, so what you're doing, you're cu cutting it and then, and then oh, for some reason you move, Move your finger up front and you cut it. Yeah, I had to go to the emergency room one time because my um you messed up. Yeah, I just cut my fingers so bad or my hand so bad because No, nah, it was her finger. It was because this finger, of avocado. It was this finger. I remember mom, mom, it was this finger. Yeah, I know. That's what you I said, said. You said your hand. Oh well I cut my hand one time too. Did you? Yep. Oh yeah, you did. Like one like right here. Yep, in the palm of my hand. Yeah. So, I never really have good luck cutting avocados. There's always an incident, it feels like. But that's why we have to be extra careful. I, and it's always with this knife, too, you guys. This knife is super, super sharp. So, I always have to be, like, really careful with this knife because, yeah, be chopping my hand off it ish, you know? All right, so I'm just doing that. I bet you guys have a much better way of cutting up avocados than how I'm doing it, but this is the way I do it, and yeah, I don't know. I think that's, that's enough, you guys. If I have to cut more, I can. Because I, oh, I need to um, mix this. I don't want it to burn. I do not want burnt meat. I'll show you guys the avocados. So there we go. There you have it. Do you guys think that's enough? Or do you, or should I make, or should I cut more? I don't know, I feel like that's fine. I feel like if we need more, I can always cut more. And of course, I put some salt on them for taste. And we also put a little bit of pepper for taste. Right? Beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Hmm. Mm hmm. Those taste good. Okay. Okay, you guys, I'll talk to you in the next clip. Bye. Hi guys, so right now I am here. I want to clean my makeup room, which looks horrible, as you guys can see. Um, so yeah, so that's what I came on to do, is to pick up my makeup room and just to chit chat with you guys and see what's good. I have a really weird camera angle, so hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Oh, look at all my laundry right there. That is so ugly. Anyway, you guys. I'm just, look at these glasses I got. I don't know, they have little bees right here. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I bought these, but I got them. So, like I said, I wasn't sure what was going on in my head when I was like, oh my God, these glasses are really cute. I, I, I don't know, you guys, but I did get them, so I'm gonna have to wear them one time in my life, probably. Anyway. So like I said, I'm just here. I'm just trying to pick up my room. Um, I had all kinds of errands to run today. So we took care of the errands and is it an errand or an errand? I think it's an er an errand. I don't I don't even know. Don't even ask me. Anyway, so right now I'm just picking up my room a little. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I got this blush from Big Lots. Like, I thought it was going to be so pretty. It just looked like this. It was kind of like a dude. Like, no disrespect to anybody who's, like, in the military, who has a husband in the military, family, anything like that. No disrespect at all. But, oh, my God, these people, like, that's where I went is my phone was ringing. And I'm not sure why they have my number, but for whatever reason... They have my cell phone number calling and asking for Xavier, right? Because he just graduated. So um, they're calling and asking for him. And you guys, these men do not let up. Like, I don't know what part of the military they're from or like what's going on, but they just do not let up. I'm like, you know what? Xavier's at work right now. May I take a message? And he's just like, oh, this is officer so-and-so. And I'm sorry, you guys, but I hate to be like this or even say this, but... I don't want my son to join the military. That is like, I just don't want that for him. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not my place to say anything. Like it's Xavier's decisions, things like that. It's his decision, you know, but I'm, if I'm being honest and being truthful, I just don't want that for him. So anyway, I let the guy know that Xavier is at work which he's not, by the way. I just know that like he's not interested. Do you know what I mean? And we've told them that numerous times and it's either the same officer that calls or he has another officer call. And yeah, that's just what happens. And it's kind of, when you tell someone you're not interested, like you don't continue to call and bother them and be like, oh, but we could pay for your schooling and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, of course, you're making it sound like it's so, so easy and so nice, but what happens when you get called off to go fight in the war? Do you know what I'm saying? They make it sound like, oh, you're not gonna get called out. No, you probably will get called out. You're like first in line or whatever. I don't know, you guys. I'm just like, ugh. Like we specifically, Xavier's told them he's not interested. Not just like me, not just his mother, but he said like he's not interested and they still, like they don't get the point or they don't get the the thing. And I'm certainly not gonna be rude to these men because they obviously have a job to do and they have to sign kids up. Like they have to like sign these young men up. Like I get it. So I'm not rude to them or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I'm extra nice and that's probably the problem. That's probably why they keep um, calling back because I'm too nice. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, you guys, I, I'm not trying to offend anybody or if you know somebody who does this type of, like, who has to do this. I'm really not. I'm just, like, speaking my mind and just being honest, you know? This is what's, like, that's what happened. Somebody called an officer and is trying to recruit my kid into the military. And I'm like, mm, no. No. So, anywho, bigger, let's, let's talk about other things. So, 
I was kind of chatting earlier about it, but yesterday was the first time that I have watched um, Olivia from Life with Liv. I hadn't been watching her for a really long time. I'm not gonna lie, dude, I was kind of boycotting her channel because I was just like, ugh, I don't wanna give her the views and blah, 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 and I was just being really like, I don't know, like snarky like that, sharky, snarky. Look at this beautiful lipstick, you guys, I got from the Aladdin collection. I actually won this, look how pretty it is. Ooh, and look at this color. Yes, it's called Raja. I might wear this on Saturday. Such a pretty shade. Anyway, that is the color I got for, I'm gonna put it up here, Aladdin. That was for the Aladdin collection, Colecciones. Um, yeah, so anyway. Oh, 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 oh. So like I was explaining, I was saying that I hadn't been watching her videos for a little bit, right? So then I started watching them a couple weeks ago and she had this like big move and you know, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie, but I was one of those people that was like, oh, it's just for views. Uh, Gerard's gonna move back with her, and blah, blah, blah. And I was just being like real like judgmental like that. And then the more I started watching her, I'm like, dang, she's like a different person. Like her whole vibe is just different. Like she's acting really nice and she seems really sweet. And I don't know you guys, like I was just like, gosh, she seems like a totally different person. And I was actually really enjoying watching her videos again. And um, yeah, so that's it. So I stayed watching her entire live and she just seemed really happy. And it was just funny cause like she had met this like guy at the park or whatever. And um, she ended up giving, she like FaceTimed him on camera. And I was like, oh my God, girl, like you are brave by FaceTiming like this dude. Like you have thousands, I mean, thousands, thousands of viewers. Like you are so brave for doing that. Anyway, so I ended up watching her live last night and I don't know, I wasn't bothered. I just thought, wow, her vibe is totally like fun and cool. And yeah, I don't know. Not to mention, I love seeing her baby. She is like the cutest little girl I've ever seen in my whole life. By the way, you guys, I got this um, mascara. It's called Express Control. And oh my God, it's so good. The brush on it is fab. I don't know, I love it. I got it from like a Wish and it's such a good mascara. I love it so much. So anyway. trying to pick up all my stuff over here you guys that's it just trying to put things away it's so easy for like your makeup and stuff to get messed up because when you get ready you're, you're like you're usually in a rush I mean I am half the time when I'm trying to get ready for work or wherever I have to go, I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm always rushed. So when that happens, I just like, I don't have, I don't put my makeup away good. I just kind of like leave it where it's at. And I'm like, oh, I'll get to that later. And then does that ever happen? No, it does not. So here I am just kind of putting things away the usual or huge, you know? So, oh my gosh, you guys, I should do a review on this. Okay, so this is the MAC Mixing Medium. Oh, dang. So this is the MAC Mixing Medium, and you could use this to hold like glitters, or you can make eyeliners out of your eyeshadows, things like that. This is the Lock and Seal Medium from e.l.f., and I noticed, believe it or not, that this e.l.f. one is obviously it's okay let's do the pros and the cons the pros on the elf one is it's awesome when you put glitter in it it doesn't just like disintegrate it just kind of like makes it so pretty and smooth on the eye the cons or the pros on this is it's huge it's ginormous um and i also like when i put it in my glitter i feel like the glitter disperses kind of like and then it looks a little bit like watery when I put it on the eye. So 
this is really worth its money. This is called e.l.f. Makeup Locks and Seal. Totally worth it. This was only $16, which isn't bad for the size, but I really liked this one. You know what I mean? So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Ooh. And, um, yeah. So, I'm just putting my stuff away a little. I love these. These are so pretty. These are my ones for MAC, though. These are just like, um, what are they called? Like glitter eyeshadows. These are just like glitter shadows and stuff. So I just put them here because I love them. And then I just have some brushes here. Some brushiones. Some brushiones. Like this. Okay, so it looks a little bit cleaner. It's not like perfect, but it looks a little better, I think. Um, let's see, what else do I wanna do right now? I think another thing that I should probably do is the laundry. I should probably clean the laundry. And then look at this, I have this bag. It's full of brushes that I need to wash brushes. I haven't done that yet, but I definitely wanna fold and put this laundry away. So I guess I will do that. I'll be right back. This is dinner, the end of it. Yum yum. This is dim sum. Yum yum dim sum. So yeah. And this is it. Is the meat pork, yeah? Pork. Well you do a bowl, I don't know why. Dude. I do a bowl because I don't want all the carbs, you know? But these are low carb tortillas, so But Nate's eating low carb tortillas, which his look like this. Yeah. But then he's gonna put all of the goodies in it, right? Yes. Oh, you need some sour cream in there. Yeah. And mm -hmm. also, you need to pour a lot of this stuff in there, you know, just. That stuff? Huh? Foggy, yeah. Uh, that's better. This is how it's supposed to go. This. There's your food. Yeah, that looks better. Bam. Ooh, yeah, that looks yummy. Let me show That's you. That's how you gotta do it. Not as yummy as this shit. Oh, it does. See? See? There it is right there. Bam! My well, camera. Bam, bam! Let's see when we have Bam, it. bam, bam, bam! Bam, bam, bam! yum. And then this is the meat. Look at all the meat we have left. That made a lot. That made a lot. So we have this left over. We could eat it for tomorrow or, you know, whatever. This year, I'm don't put too much, it'll be so hot. It's hot, it's hot. That's the best stuff right there. It'll be too hot, you have to go to the potty. <laughs> <Just> wow. <kidding>. wow. <laughs>